thing y'all got to realize about women is a woman is going to do what she always wants to do with her body. Period. And 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 there's literally nothing you can do to stop her. KT, <clears throat> what it you do? It's your boy Steph. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Fuck wrong with you? Dan, yeah, hit them folk. Let me see you hit them folk. How you hear my? Yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh. We getting it? Yeah. Let me see. You, let me see you hit the reverse. Hit the reverse. Pussy adding. Hit the reverse. Nigga, gonna tap my holding. Put hit the reverse. Nigga, all that DMing and shit. Show me how to dance, nigga. I don't know how to dance. I know how to dance. I be dancing my girl dance. You gotta leave. Dance. You wanna fuck my hoe? Dance. Dance, nigga. Hey, you talking about dance, nigga? Fuck it. Stop playing with pussy. Come on, pussy adding. Oh, man, and keep dancing. I come back over, you better keep dancing. I turn the camera, turn the back there, what you better still be doing. Keep dancing. Piss the ass, fuck wrong with you, man. Tell me to push up on me, man. I'm a little hot, piss. So as you can see in that video clip right there, um, he's mad at this guy because this guy dug out his chick. I can't really play the audio like that um, because he was cussing and stuff like that and he was going hard. But one thing y'all got to realize about women is a woman is going to do what she always wants to do with her body, period. And, and, and there's literally nothing you can do to stop her. you can do to stop her. She's going to do whatever she wants to do with her body. And she's going to figure out some way, somehow to get what she wants to get out of any situation. Out of any situation. Out of any situation. You should never check the dude. You should always check your chick. Because the dude is doing what he's supposed to do. Whether he know or whether he don't know. If he knew, hey, some dudes don't have morals. Some dudes don't care. It's a cold world, my G. You got to be ready for that. You got to be ready for that. You got to be ready to take that L. It's not a loss. It's a lesson. And the lesson ain't him. The lesson is the chick. The chick ain't for you, my G. So you move on. You never get butt hurt to the point where it's like, dang, that chick did that. And she, 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 let me, let me go, let me go holler at the dude. Let me go, let me want to go do something to the dude. Put that iron on the dude. You don't do that. You check the chick. You inform the chick and then you let the chick know, I'm gone, baby girl. I'm gone. I'm out. See, a lot of us don't understand females still. We don't understand the dynamics between a man and a woman in a relationship. That's why it's still beta males. That's why it's still simps. Because of stuff like this. Y'all got to understand, bro. When a chick cheat on you, bro, that ain't got nothing to do with the dude. That got everything to do with her. Fam, you could be doing everything, everything right, digging her out, doing everything you need to be doing the alpha way. And guess what? Some women just still find a way to do you wrong. That's a part of the game. It is inevitable for something to not happen to you. You are not exempt. Something can happen, but you have to be prepared mentally so when something do happen, you're not like, <gasps> spooked out. You should expect it. Every man has his turn. They say it's not your girl, it's your turn. Your turn can last a very long time. So enjoy your turn until she gives you the benefit of the doubt. Then it's like, okay, my turn is up. Time to bounce. This scent probably went back to the chick. This scent, he probably went back to the chick. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to give a chick another reason why, oh, if he going to set me back, then I'm going to cheat again on him. No. Now, this is another thing I want to talk about, man. Your image, fellas, is very important. The way you look 
is very important. It's very important. Women like certain dudes for certain things. If you've ever noticed, women like a masculine man. The masculine man is the most attractive. Michael B. Jordan, Channing Tatum, right? We got your, um, uh, uh, we got the dude from Thor, Chris Hemsworth, right? We got the dude from Goat. We got the dude from Power, Ghost, Amari Hardwick, Dave East. And I'm naming white guys and I'm naming black guys. Handsome guys. Because their look is very particular to what women like. They're not too pretty. But what is particular? What is handsome about them? They all have that edge. They all have that look. Every man got to have a look. You got to have a look that stand out. You don't want to be too perfect. Because now you act feminine. Now you act like a chick. Something something on you has to be rough. I'm going to tell you two things women love. Women love scars and women love a dude that got an edge about them. They love that. You don't have to have that. I'm just letting you know what women like. They don't like niggas that's fat as fuck. You fat, breathing hard, heavy. <laughs> breathing all heavy. But she don't like that. So if you fat and you ugly, she don't want you. So don't be trying to think, oh, I'm getting choosing signals. No, you're not. You're fat and ugly. You don't get any. Have a look. Have a look that fits your physique. Have a look that fits you. You know what I do? Dudes that I like, dudes that I like how they dress. I like how certain dudes dress. I emulate how they dress and I put it in my, in my style, my flavor. Feel what I'm saying? That's what I do. Sometimes I like the baggy look sometimes. Sometimes I like the medium tight look sometimes. I want my shirt hugging a little bit. The kicks always got to be fired. I'm giving y'all game. Yeah, we, we talked about the chick cheating. I know it's two topics in one. That's cold though. Two is better than one, right? Like Destiny say. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I want to help y'all at the same time. Make sure you smelling good. You know what I'm saying? Got the Versace Port Home right here. Make sure you smelling good. Got the Chanel Aluminum Horse Port right here. Your appearance is key. First impression is key. Having a look is key. Getting the dirt out your nails. Making sure your teeth look right. It's key, but not too pretty. You don't want to be too perfect. You got to have a certain roughness about you. The roughness about me is my beard. I ain't never shaving my beard off. I just came. Some of y'all be like, hey, man, Steph, you know, your beard, man, it's wild. It's, it's all over the place. Bro, I like my beard wild. I like my beard all over the place. You know who else like my beard wild and all over the place? Women. Women. Love it. You have to have a look and you have to care about your look at all times, wherever you're going, to the grocery store, to the gym, to the mall, out, club, bar. It doesn't matter. Out to dinner. It doesn't matter. You have to have a look. But one thing you can't do is be fat as fuck. You can't be fat as fuck. You can't. You can't be ugly and you can't be fat as fuck. You cannot. I'm sick of niggas saying, I ain't get choosing signals. How you get choosing signals? You ugly as fuck. You fat as hell. Your shirt. That's how your shirt look. Your shirt big as a bitch. Because you don't care. You fat as fuck because you don't care. You don't care. So if you don't care, why should the woman care? Oh, Steph, I'm Steph. Uh, I, I don't want. I don't want a woman. 
I don't need women. Don't cap. Because that's guess what you're going to do. As soon as you say that, as soon as you say that, guess what you're going to do? yourself my g self-improved look at me in the mirror not me don't look at me in the mirror that's kind of that's kind of suspect look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself i need to self-improve to get better to be more confident in myself i need to improve myself on an everyday basis i don't need to be fat as fuck i just need to get up every day and have the mindset of improving one percent better every day do y'all even have goals? Do y'all achieve for something to want to improve, to want to get better? Or do y'all complain and stay the same? You know, you know what's not you know, three things that's not going nowhere. We always gonna talk about, it, but there three things that's not going nowhere: hypergamy, eminism, eminism, hypergamy, and how women think. Them three things ain't never going nowhere. And guess what? We always gonna talk about them. But at the same time, I want you to be your coldest. I don't want you walking. Like a fucking penguin looking fat as a bitch. I don't want you doing that. I don't want that. So put down the McDonald's. Pick up the water. Drop the soda. If anything, pick up the diet soda. Start making small substitutions so you can improve. And I promise you, you'll be cold, my G. Your look, your haircut, your skin, the way you walk, the way you talk, your clothes, all that matters. It's just a matter of what you want to do, my G.